need another scissor nail. So we're stopping like three, four inches back from the end. Bring those corners together, which will hold it, fold it in half, and then shake it down to the bottom and lay it over this side. Now, Bill and Andrew, if you could get a hold of that at the middle and gently pull it out without disturbing what's in the bottom and hang it over the edge. So you see those uh, wrinkles in the bottom here? Down there? I can get those out from here. Oh. If you were to rub your hand over that, you would put a fold in, in the cloth that may or may not come out. Shut that. So okay. now you're going to be grand. Oh, okay. Uh, your feet in the middle, anchor it down. And spread from the middle to the ends in the middle up to the shear. So when you fit it over the edge, hold it up so it doesn't have to scrape over the edge. It will pull. So as you're working up here, uh, working on the metal, pretty well the same techniques you use outside. But here, you know, your brush isn't going to have room to move like that. So what happens is the brush kind of flips around and gets a whole lot of foam up here. This is the area that's the hardest place to clean up, so it's the last place you want to get the foam. So what I suggest is you know, instead of brushing it long, use that sponging motion that we talked about outside for along the bottom, where you lay the brush down, squeeze, the resin comes out of the brush, and you're controlling how much comes out by how much you squeeze, and then ease it off. If you pull the brush fast, the uh, cloth's going to come with it. So just sponge, sponge, sponge. So when you get up to the end here, if you try to brush over that cut edge, those little strings are going to come off and you're going to get caught in your brush. You'll pull the brush out and the cloth is going to come with it. You're going to end up with a lot of uh, fiberglass reinforced felt in a sense. So do whatever you can to avoid working on that cut edge. So what I to do, and work really well, is to wet it out and stop about an inch short. And then fold that back like that. And then coat up, up against the side of the end. Because you know, we know we want to go all the way up. We don't want to brush over this cut edge to get up there. So then you would coat all that, that area. And then gently put this back in and it will soak through from the bottom. So you won't have to add more. You just use your brush as a sponge to push it into the resin underneath it. Just get it on there. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Remember, yeah. we're gonna make it look nice. Uh, could I have another batch, please? Yeah. So by having it flat like this, I'm pressing that cloth down more than I'm pulling it this way. If I get straight, I'm going to be pulling the cloth up from the other side, then I'm going to have to work it back somehow. So on the inside, because we're only putting the two coats, uh, 
keep in mind that we want to get a nice even texture here so it looks pleasant without being too slippery. See so here that now? So if you start with just a little bit, see where it gets you. So pack it in like that, same as we did outside, and then we'll go over it uh, after it's done systematically. Just scrape off any of them. Thank you.